When the world began, Papatuanuku and Ranginui were inseparable. Hearts molded into one, they were in love. Each morning he cloaked her in forest green velvet, draped diamonds on her skin and laced flowers in her hair. And each evening she showered him with stars so he could see her a little better. Words, Words for love are used now, but back then they were the only true thing that existed. Other than the never-ending embrace, there was nothing. But from the purest blackness between them came the children. Tokens of a perfect love, the power they contained was too great to remain in the shadows. Children need room to play. We, we needed room to play. We ripped our mother and father apart. Fingers stretching two skins that were one. Papa had only ever known love. We, we broke her. And Langi knew he watched. No wonder the stench of his agony infects our skin. His cries ingrained in us from birth. Because, because we, we have chosen to forget that this earth was not made for us. We were made for her. We have clawed the diamonds from her flesh with sharpened fingernails. Replaced them with phony plastic phenotypes. Gifts she never wanted to accept. More than eight million tons of plastic are forced into our oceans every year. She is drowning in man-made crystals that seem as if they will last longer than her. And the velvet green cloak he so carefully crafted has been stripped bare. Shaved, she is naked. A shivering body covered in bruises from where our fingertips have mauled her skin. Our hands are stained with the blood of our mother. Only 30% of her forests remain. 100 million years of careful crafting may be gone in just a hundred to ensure the table that I eat from is the perfect shade of death. And as Papa Tuanuku's body is being tortured and chopped into pieces, Langinui watches from afar. The tears once shed for the lover stolen from him, now cast over her remains, giving, giving life, life to, to the, the people who are killing her. His face is being tarnished by the fumes of his lover's body burning. She, she is, is burning! And his heart is broken. The whole over our land of the long Atiroa, white cloud, a piece, piece of grief. For if she burns, we, we burn, burn with her. her. He kaite a ki, he taunga he tihua, of plants and animals may be extinct by 2050 due to global warming. She is bleeding. 65% of our deaths in Asia are caused by air pollution. She is bleeding. The biggest global health threat of the 21st century is climate change. We are all dying. Because Papa Tuanuku is running out of blood to bleed. And when her bones are dry, we begin to bleed ourselves. Please, no, no more, more blood. blood.